I, I'll tell you this. It is worth – I tell people this all the time. It is worth the price of admission to any college game to tr- watch college hitters try to bunt. It is, it's hysterical. It's truly hysterical. Well, so you you, you got to practice that, right? And, and if you're not doing it in high school, right, and, and it's not being preached throughout the whole fall, when the time comes, you can ask the, that guy to do it. Yeah. And I've seen that, right, where a guy will bunt somebody over and the guy's never bunted all year. Right now he pops up a bunt and the catcher catches it. Mm. Well, how do you expect the guy to get it down if he's never done it all year and you, you don't even practice it? Mm. Right? So, again, dude, you and, 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 and I learned this from Vanderbilt. Right? Because, dude, if you watch this play when I was there in, in South Carolina, we bunted. Mm. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. I bunted a lot. Yeah. Right? I didn't want to bunt, but I bunted a lot. I wanted to stay in the lineup. <laughs> and when you watch Vanderbilt, they had their uh, – they beat us uh, in the SC tournament. They had their three-hole and four-hole. Safety squeeze, three and four hole, mm. safety squeeze, right? And then I got reporters asking me after the game, were you guys not prepared for the safety squeeze? So I'm like, well, we didn't, we didn't credit to Vandy. We didn't think they were going to butt with their third and fourth batter, right? But they did a good job of preparing their guys so when the time comes, they're able to do it, mm. right? I don't like the bunt. I never liked the bunt as a player, right? I got guys that bunt on my team. Hmm. Right, the certain guys, brother. You're a 290, 300 hitter in JUCO. You're a bunner too, hmm. right? right? Especially if you're the nine hole guy to get to get the guy over for for the leadoff guy, right? So, per, and I learned it from Tanner. Percentages dictate what you do, right? But everybody's caught up on on the analytics of that bunning should not happen, right? Are you giving up an out, brother? If the guy is over twenty and he's your nine hole, yeah, he's hitting three forty with twenty bombs but he's not hitting right now. Why can't you bunt that guy over for the guy that's hot? Right? All you're doing is putting pressure on the defense. Mm. If the whole college baseball isn't practicing bunting, do you think that they're practicing uh, uh, bunt defense? No. So why not put some yeah. pressure on the defense and yeah. bunt the ball? Mm. Right? Now, it, it, it dictates, right? You're not going to bunt with Christian Walker, mm. even though I've seen Tanner do it. Yeah. I, I think you just make a great point, too. I know we've talked about this before, but like analytics, the game's so analytically driven, but you also have to have baseball instincts. And I mean, we've I'm not going to name any names. I think people can know who I'm talking about. But we, we've seen situations where like, yes, there are moments where the numbers tell you something, but you just got to have some baseball instinct about you to know maybe that's not the best decision in that moment. Like it's got to be a it's got to be a balance. If you're purely just analytically driven, you're going to make mistakes. You, you, you just are. The numbers don't tell everything. They don't. They don't. And but it's easy to use it as a scapegoat. Right. 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 Where this guy's hitting 400 against lefties. OK, I, I understand. I understand the numbers and the numbers are good. The, the problem is that you need to have a feel right for the game and for your players. Right. A lot of the times. The guy on the mound dictates what you do, right? You're facing the guy. Ben, is it Ben Joyce from Tennessee? Mm-hmm. Yeah. One you better four. be able to bunt that day, <laughs> right? If you get a leadoff walk, that next guy better be able to bunt because the chances are you're not hitting that guy, right? Mm-hmm. So a lot of times the guy on the mound dictates what you're doing at the plate. I don't like the bunt when I'm facing a guy that's very hittable. Mm-hmm. Where we can crush this guy. He's a comfortable at bat. I'm not bunting, right? Even if it's my nine hole. But if it's a guy on the mound that I know this is going to be a three to two ball game, we're going to try to score early, put some pressure on them. We're going to bump. We're going to try to hit and run. We'll do those things. But again, it goes back to having some feel. 